My name is Jay Isaacs. I'm the head coach for the Jesuit Robotics team. The Jesuit Robotics competition entering into the Mate uh, underwater ROV competition uh, was designed a small maneuverable ROV to navigate lakes and rivers and perform a number of tasks. The way we plan is a year in advance. We start with meetings, design meetings that explain what we're going to do for the year with our ROV and then throughout the year till the beginning of competition we put that all into practice by designing, testing, and then building our production ROV. 2018 was focused on um, kind of tasks in um, kind of coastal areas, so it was in Seattle, um, Puget Sound, so we were kind of tasked with dealing with um, like you know, airplane uh, wreckages, environmental monitoring, and stuff like that. With 2017, uh, we didn't really have a good modular connector solution that was small and cost effective. So that's why we kind of looked out and chose Bulgin in 2018. Uh, and that's kind of been uh, a part of a product that's shrunk in the size of our RV, made them more modular and more cost effective. The thing we found with Bulgin was the, the reliability with the connectors. They mounted well, they were waterproof, and consistently made a good connection. Really, they provided something that we couldn't find on many other um, products. 2019 was focused on kind of lakes and rivers. Um, the competition venue this year was Kingsport, Tennessee. So we're looking at dam repair, more environmental monitoring, like archaeological recovery. We had to add more autonomous features, um, which required better uh, vision capabilities. Um, so we started implementing these digital vision systems that required a lot of bandwidth to get Ethernet bandwidth. So that's why we had to use you know, Bulgin so that we could keep um, our waterproof connections uh, and our modularity while still having a gigabit tech connection between the RV and our top side computers. So at the pool before competition, we test a lot. We test our buoyancy, we test our electronics, but we also test the main functions of the ROV, such as can it use all the tools correctly? Can it drive? Can it stay still in the water without flipping over? I'm really happy with how we did. Uh, we got third place overall and we won a lot of good awards. There's, there are so many things that really make me proud of the team, but really the two things that stand out about our team is, one is we spend a lot of time helping other teams. This is, you know, it's very selfless when we go to a competition that you rather compete with somebody in the pool than lose because they can't make it to the pool. The other thing is, is things do go wrong. Their ability to take adversity turn that around and, and stay the course, you know, and that's part of what we work on with these students in the year is not everything works out, but you still have to continue. You cannot give up.